So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 11th Ionic tutorial in which we're gonna enhance the layout a little bit. We're gonna not work with the storage yet but we're gonna improve this and create a sign up page as well and probably move this login page into its own page. So first of all let's just create a new page. So I'm gonna say Ionic and let me just Ionic generate page and let's just say this is login page and uh, we're gonna generate one more page that would be ionic generate page that is the register page let's just say and that should give us a start so if we take a look now inside our login page we can move this thing inside our login page right and hit save and for the home page what I'm gonna do is uh, I wanna say something like uh, social network anything you want and then we're gonna create a bunch of buttons right here which would just say the login and sign up thing so we can just keep it minimal right now and just create two buttons we're gonna say sign in and uh, register so sign in for the sign in one what I'm gonna do is inside our home.typescript we're gonna save for sign in is this dot nav control dot push and this would be our login page and for register R E G I S T E R we're gonna say this dot nav control dot push and that would be our register page which we have so again let's just import those real quick import login login page from what we have in as the login login and we're gonna do the same thing with the register one as well that would be register and register and register page just like that so now we are done with the home file so let's just copy these two things and make sure to add that in our app as well so we go to app module and uh, we import these two things register and we're gonna go up one more directory back pages pages just like that we're gonna say login page and register page as well so login page login page and register page and there we are so we have our home setup and uh, we can actually what we can do is instead of doing this as the block we can actually create a parent with say div id top buttons and uh, again we can just make use of some basic html right here and inside our home.sas file home.scs file now if you are f not familiar with scss it's kind of like css only so whatever css you write it would be valid as CSS as well or valid SAS as well but it kind of is a powerful version you can create nested tags and uh, use variables in CSS and all that stuff but don't bother if you do not know about it a lot just remember that for any component you're gonna if you want to make the styles local for example for the page home we want to make this whole thing this whole thing home is wrapped actually wrapped inside this page home tag if you can just take a look um, right here you can see that this whole thing is wrapped inside page home so whatever we write inside this page home would be local to this home page only right so we can just make use of that and say top buttons is a display flex right now and again I do not have the SAS styling on so it just shows me plain text but doesn't matter I'm gonna say that for top buttons button a flex one and hit save we're gonna give it a flex direction of row as well so again this should have created us container top buttons right here we can see that uh, our styles did not work really or did they mm. Alright, so I just fixed it by actually restarting my 
um, Ionic project, so I just quit the project and said uh, next serve again. Uh, it just works fine now. I'm not sure really what the problem is, but uh, it just worked fine. So now what we can do is uh, since we have our flex box ready and uh, this thing right here what we can say is that when we click sign in you can see that we get our form and for register as well we get the same form so let's just first of all fix this thing and we can say here register and save and if we take a look for the home.typescript file if you click on this register you can see we get register but it has got nothing in it so first of all let's just open register.html and the page would more or less be the same for login and register so we can just copy this thing and instead of just writing here we can say something like create account and username password and right here we can just say register okay so we can just say register user right here and for login for login HTML we can say uh, sign in sign in user like that so we can now say login.ts inside right here we can create another method sign in user and right here we would just say console.log would sign in with the this dot user dot value and this dot password dot value and uh, we can just create that thing real quick as well we can just say user rather view child and what we have it right here as the username as the user uh, we can create view child again password with the password as the name so we can just import view child from the angular core and uh, we should be good to go with that for register as well we're going to do the same thing for register we're going to do register dot typescript and it would be pretty much the same thing only but for this method right here we would create this method and say register user would be console dot log would register user with uh, this dot user dot value and this dot password dot value and value right there okay so again I'm just gonna copy paste these two lines because that will be similar and for the import we can just import this view child right there and that should be good to go okay so for the register part now if we take a look if we sign this up go to console we say mehul mehul and hit sign in we can see that with sign in with mehul mehul and for the register we can say one two three four five six or whatever that was register would register user with one two three three four five so now we have basically set up our ui a little bit again you can add some icons here if you want to or customize this thing a little you can customize some colors if you want to but i'm just gonna keep it to the basics right now and with the ui completed we're gonna move to the functionality and see how we can make use of storage to actually store the users we are creating and log them in so that is all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and check out my patreon link in the description if you want to support and so yeah that's all for this and see you then in the next one